Hello, this is Dread, and in today's video topic, we're going to be showcasing some gameplay of probably one of the best contenders for best minion build in the game right now, and that's going to be Abomination. After a few changes back in the day, it got a kind of like a clear speed nerf, mainly regarding to not being able to use Scythe as easily anymore, but thankfully with some changes, now it is going to be back on top. Now, today I actually have someone to showcase it for me because I didn't have much time to play. Rain, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, hey, I'm Rain. I tend to do weird off meta builds. I'm a community tester um, and I've been doing Abomination for quite a while now. All right, before we get into the video, I want to make a, uh, the first disclaimer. Uh, so to get you this footage today, I had to do some monkeying around. It is of less quality than I normally go with, but it's the best way of me getting the footage to you today. And the second disclaimer as well, this is all footage from the testing servers, uh, from the, the invitational event. This is all subject to change. This could be completely different when March 9th comes around, but this should be in the same state when we hit the next week's event on February 2nd, which by the way, uh, on February 2nd, you'll be able to play multiplayer with all of us. Just follow the link in the description to sign up. It's up to 10,000 people, and we're going to try to get as many people on the service as possible, and it runs for an entire week. So if you own the game, you can register, play Last Epoch. It's going to be great in multiplayer and test all the new changes and stuff on February 2nd. Now, Rain, I want you to explain what changed with A-Bomb to make it this ridiculous. So... A bomb's obviously always had its damage problems solved just innately on this skill. It has a lot of powerful scaling uh, based on minion count, and there's a lot of different ways to build it for that. Uh, and the skills are generally okay. Um, the biggest issue with the A bomb has always been how do you get it to actually deal that damage to enemies? Because it doesn't actually have good uh, ability to project damage. It has like projectiles, which are sometimes okay, um, but. Most of the time it's going to be using melee, and it's melee attack, default, default, nah, default attack is complete trash. Yeah, and back so, in the day, we used to use Soul Cleave before, like, they changed A-Bomb a bunch. Yeah, Soul Cleave is still really good, um, but it's more difficult to fit Wraiths in, and you don't get as many of them. It just hurts the scaling a little bit, and it's a combo skill, which means you need to, it needs, the A-Bomb needs to use two default attacks in between each Soul Cleave. Or wait for a timer to go off and that timer is like three seconds or so i think uh, off the top of my head and that means it basically attacks once per three seconds and then spins in circles and does a dance for the rest of the time uh so this build instead of using soul cleave uh soul cleave uses stomp which is the ability you get from a bone golem stomp on live servers or on live game is still fairly pretty good it's um aoe isn't very good though it's good enough that play it, it can clear. It'll wipe packs pretty well. But it's not like the screen wiping that you probably saw in the footage, uh, which is basically what they did, is they replaced the stomp with Earthquake. Damage is still the same, of course, but AoE is way better, and that's what lets you get much faster clear speeds now. Yeah, and also you can scale it with cooldown reduction, right? Yep, and you stack uh, as much cooldown reduction as you can, and you're getting the cooldown of the stomp lower than the back speed of the abomination uh so you need to be a little careful about not to go way too hard on attack speed before you have any cooldown reduction but it's usually very forgiving yeah and uh one thing i want to mention as well uh there's going to be a guide in the description it's essentially going to be the same build that you're looking at right now it's just essentially stomp was changed so you can follow this guide next week, essentially. It's going to be almost one-to-one. -one. Of course, there's going to be some changes. And of course, we can't really talk about too many of those changes or this video would be insanely long. So you can use the guide down below. Rain read it, read, uh, wrote it himself. And it's a really well put together guide. And it's essentially this build. Just now you get Earthquake instead of a little baby stomp. Now, uh, now with the update to the build, like... How does it feel now, like versus before? So on live, it's felt it feel like I'm very used to it on live, so it doesn't bother me too much. But the clear speed is definitely a little bit lower. The abomination kind of just gets stuck on things a lot more. Um, on the, the test servers, it's definitely a lot. It's definitely pretty noticeable that the like you can you, so you're sometimes catching more than one pack in each stomp, which is pretty helpful. 
Um, it makes it a lot safer at high corruptions as well. Like I've on live, I've pushed this I think to eight hundred or so corruption, um, and it's safe if you have good defensive items and stuff on your build, obviously. But it's also risky in that you'll have a lot of stragglers because the abomination isn't reliably able to kill enemies quickly. And if you get swarmed by you know enemies and you have a lot of damage mods in your monolith, you'll just die. So that this helps a lot with keeping those types of situations from happening, which is really good, especially for like hardcore environments and stuff like that. Yeah, like the AOE looks fantastic, and this is the kind of stuff that we've been waiting for. <laughs> now, one thing. Now, I've shown abomination builds in the past. And the recent one I did was a projectile abomination build where, of course, you use skeleton mages and you have like the infinite duration, you take no damage kind of A-bomb. You want to explain how you summon this A-bomb so that people understand what they're getting into before they play the skill? So yeah, this is a decaying abomination build. Unfortunately, we can't use stomp on a non-decaying abomination because it doesn't use, it needs a bone golem and bone golem isn't a skeleton. Uh, so... <laughs> I generally actually would recommend leveling with the infinite abomination because frankly speaking you don't need to deal a million damage per attack to kill uh you know the storyline bosses it's just not necessary and you're going to be a lot happier if you uh are not having to resummon it every five to ten minutes or eight minutes or so yeah exactly uh, so how you summon this is, there's like a step-by-step -step in the guide, but basically you summon a whole bunch of minions. You can swap out some gear pieces to get a couple extra minions in there uh, to hollow fingers and whatnot, but that's not really needed. It's just there if you like big numbers like I do. And you really want to kill the dummy as much as possible. So what you're doing is you're basically throwing down some zombies, you throw down six zombies, throw down ten skeletons, one golem. If you want to be fancy, you can switch the hollow fingers in, do two more skeletons, and the uh, three skeleton mages. And you try to kind of line it up so that it'll consume the skeletons and zombies first, because um, you, the skeletons refund the mana, and there's a delay before the resummoning, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that those die, and... They sometimes spawn more zombies when they die, and then those zombies sometimes spawn into vanguards, and the vanguards, and there's corpse parasites all over the place. Basically, all the, it's kind of like one of those uh, nested Russian dolls where it's like a different one inside of it. That's what all your minions turn into with this build. <laughs> and that's fine, because it seems like as though it's 100% worth it right now with how big the area gets. Like, it actually feels worth it now. Before, I'll be honest, I didn't really like it. It didn't seem worth it, because, like, sure, like, he did a lot of damage, but, like, his clear was kind of papega as like a solo minion skill but now his clear is amazing <laughs> uh, so uh last question i have for you today is how have you been enjoying multiplayer i know you've been a ct but i'm not talking about that i'm just about like this current patch obviously because ndas and stuff yeah i mean uh, so i guess it's pretty safe to say that multiplayer has been a blast pretty much the whole time it's never it's like even, you know, before this, it's just fun to play with other people in this type of game, uh, just as a general thing. Uh, the test, the sorry, the uh, Invitational has been really fun. Uh, met a couple of new people, got to play with some new people. Um, it's really nice having, like, uh, so many people kind of get really energized to play the game a lot more and having people to play with. Uh, tons of cool stuff to play in parties. Uh, there's just so many cool team comps you can throw together. And I feel like a lot of us in the CT have only like really just scratched the surface of what's possible for like support builds or weird team comps or like super specialized builds that do th one thing really well that normally you can't run on live because nobody wants to, you know, only be able to kill bosses and then have to go clear echoes to get their t stability up, right? Yeah, exactly. I've had a really good time too, and I've I've been in the same uh been in the same echo as this monstrosity and i'll tell you it's been a very interesting time just trying to keep up with the thing clearing through monos and stuff it's definitely i think i'll be honest i'm i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna be honest like this is probably the best necromancers build now all around now because it's got all the clear all the damage sure you gotta do a stupid little ritual but it's okay. Like stupid little ritual is completely fine when you're clearing entire screens now. <laughs> Another cool thing about the ritual, um, a it's thematic, which is kind of funny. But yeah, the I like interesting that. thing is that in multiplayer, if you aren't 
currently at least, if you aren't the person who's opening the echoes, you can actually start channeling and then have the person who's opening the echo start uh, loading the echo. You might have noticed in the footage that a little like uh, bit of text comes up on the screen that says loading echo. Basically, the echo is in the same area as the monolith waiting zone. And you can be, if you're holding on the button, you'll continue channeling the skill while in the middle of the loading screen. If the loading screen is going to take, let's say, 30, 40 seconds, and it takes you 60 seconds to summon your abomination, it's basically saving you, you know, it really only takes 20 seconds if you can do it during the loading screen, right? Yeah. That that sounds, yeah, it's it's really funny that you can do that. I hope one day we'll actually all be able to just mess around when the loading screen's around. But that's going to be it for the video today. Thank you, Rain, for coming on and spilling some of your beans of things that you've been working on for the past few months. This has been a lot of work and effort, and I really appreciate you coming on and showcasing all of this. Thanks for having me. All right. With all that being said, this has been Dread. Like I said, February 2nd is going to be the new uh, the, the Pack the Server event. Use the link down in the description. Register for it so that you can play during that weekend. You can... As long as you own the game, download the game, uh, and then follow the instructions, all that, you'll get to play on the beta multiplayer server and have fun with a build like this for about a week. All right. Uh, and of course, as well, I'll be linking the guide for this build specifically down in the description. There's like a few changes, but it's nothing too big. And if you need any help, I also have a Discord. You can also join the Discord and Reigns in that Discord as well. And he'd be more than happy to help you with this build. With all that being said, this has been Dread. Off to go work on more stuff.